Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. We're going to talk today about some Maison Francis Kirk Dijon perfumes. I really enjoy niche perfumes. Is that something that I've kind of decided fairly recently? You know that I love my celebrity scents. You know that I love my bargain buys, but I really, really, really want to start getting more into niche perfumes. And so I went on to Maison Francis Kirk Dijon's website and I ordered eight perfume samples. Now the reason why I ordered samples instead of the larger size is because I've made it an effort not to do any more blind buys of full perfumes. I'm going on my minimalism journey. I'm trying to spend a lot less money. I'm trying to waste a lot less money. And so therefore that's why we have these seven perfumes all lined up and I'm going to choose one of these to buy out of these seven. So without further ado, let's start sampling. We're going to start over at this side with the Amris Femme. That is for ladies and I am a lady so hopefully it will be for me. It says, a chic and fragrant ready-to-wear scent. Iris from Florence and Amri from Jamaica play the score of this eau de parfum accompanied by lemon blossom, vetiver, and musky amber. A woody and floral fragrance. All right, let's try this out. I haven't tried any of these out yet. We'll see what this smells like. I'm not putting them on myself yet. Ooh, I can just smell it in the air and it smells nice. Oh, that's lovely. It is very woody. You know what this smells like? It smells like wood sage and sea salt from Joe Malone, but it smells like a stronger version of that. Oh, that's lovely. And that's my number one fragrance. If you guys watched my video on perfume samples that I have, my number one fragrance has always been wood sage and sea salt from Joe Malone and this smells just like it. Oh, that's really nice. I love it. All right. So that is Omri Femme and I have a little thing of coffee beans to put my little nose in so that I can clear my palate each time. All right, next is Petite, Petite Matine. That's our next one. And it says, rise at dawn and escape into the delicious freshness of an early morning in Paris to rediscover a taste for beauty. Let yourself be carried by the luminous energy of Litsi Kububa, Kubeba, Litsi Kubeba from Indonesia and Lemon from Calabria. The floral softness of Hawthorne and Lamvedin from Provence. Then get lost in a labyrinth of musky and ambery notes. All right, I'm down. Let's try it. Let's see what we've got. Dry it out a little bit and smell. It's nice. It has definitely a lavend, I guess that's the lavendine scent that I smell. It's floral for sure. It's not blowing me away though. It smells sort of like what they use to clean the ladies room <laughs> in an office. I'm not in love with this. It's almost, it's a chemically cleaner smell. Uh, it's not unpleasant and it smells very clean and fresh, but it's not what I'm looking for in a perfume. So let's move on to Grand Soir. Ooh, I'm looking forward to this one. I've heard good things. All right, Grand Soir is next. Wander in the plentitude of a never ending night and enjoy the daring radiance of a magnificent Parisian evening over and over again. Sweet lavender and vanilla scented heat, spiced up by the deep darkness of benzoin from Siam, tonka bean from Brazil, and Cistus, oh no, and Cistus lavendum from Spain. Well, I don't know what Cistus lavendum is, but 
the rest of that sounds fantastic, especially you guys know that I love my Tonka bean fragrances. So let's see what this is like. Grand Soir. Oh no. Oh. Oh, this is very heavy. It ends up smelling like licorice, is what Grand Soir smells like to me. It's like a, a licorice and coffee. It's like licorice soaked in coffee. Oh no, that's unfortunate. I was really looking forward to that one. I don't love it. I don't love it. Ah, oh, too bad. Okay. So no, that's a hard no on Grand Soir. Let's take a little coffee bean moment. Whew. Okay. Next is the big boy. Baccarat Rouge 540. I have been told so many things about this one. Shout out to uh, The Simple Chic Life, who has recommended this to many of her followers and such, with the caveat of a lot of people hate this. I don't know if you're going to like it. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, let me read it out. I got too excited about it. All right. A profusion and a fusion of the elements that can only be tamed by the art of the perfumer and the time-tested wisdom. This extrait de parfum. Oh, oh, this is the extrait. Okay. This extrait de parfum amplifies the strength and radiance of a woody amber and floral breeze enhanced by jasmine blossoms and woody musks. An alchemy of the senses also available in an eau de parfum and scented body range. Okay. Well... Let's smell it. Let's see what we've got. This is the extrait. And Oh, I like it. Oh, I do. You know, okay. We I've heard that this smells just like Ariana Grande's cloud. To me, it doesn't smell just like Cloud. Cloud smells similar to it, but Cloud does smell like a celebrity fragrance. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing at all. I love celebrity fragrances, as you know. But Cloud has sort of an alcoholy smell on the end of it, in my opinion. That's just what I happen to smell. This, oh, this is nice. It definitely smells like a bit marshmallowy and there's an interesting sort of musky scent to it. It's like a, a sweet marshmallow musk and I really, I really like that. That's nice. Yeah, I'm not mad at this at all. What is this? Woody Amber and Floral Breeze. Enhanced by Jasmine Blossoms and Woody Musks. Well, I certainly smell the woody musk and I'm I'm a fan of that I may get this one this may be the one because that's the one that I've had the most sort of excited reaction to I think all right cleanse my palette next is the Baccarat Rouge 540 Eau de Parfum I suspect that it's going to have the same thing uh, the aerial notes of jasmine and the radiance of saffron carry mineral facets of ambergris and woody tones of freshly cut cedar wood. Okay, so let's try this Eau de Parfum and see if there's any real difference that I smell with this one. Now, obviously, I'm going to try out the ones that I quite like. I'm going to try out on my skin, too. Uh, so the extrait and also this Amri, that's going to go on my skin before I buy anything. And of course I'll do a video when I get whatever it is that I decide to buy. Oh, you know what? This is nice. It's a lighter, it's lighter and fresher smelling than this. The parfum is lighter and fresher smelling than the extract of, or the extrait of Baccarat Rouge 540. I like it, but it's not enchanting like 
Baccarat Rouge 540 X-Trade is, in my opinion. This is a heavier smell. Um, I can see it being appropriate for a night out, for sure. This, I think, smells more like cloud, in my opinion. And it doesn't smell cheap by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> it doesn't smell like a celebrity. It just smells nice. Let's move on. Feminine Pluriel is our next one. And let's see what this one's about. Eternal femininity, subtly transcending fashion. An eau de parfum with infinite reflections that convey the idea of a modern and generous floral bouquet. A feminine composition featuring mutually enriching notes of iris, violet, jasmine, patchouli, and vetiver. Ooh, that sounds nice. All right, let's try this out. Oh, this is nice. Feminine pluriel. It's definitely very floral. And it's definitely very feminine. It's a delicate scent. What is this? Iris, vi violet, jasmine, patchouli, and vetiver. Well, I certainly smell the iris and violet off the top. And that jasmine, it smells sort of like a jasmine tea that I used to get uh, when I used to spend my summers in California. I... I would drink this incredible jasmine tea from a Japanese store in downtown LA and this smells like it. It's nice. It's not a true, and I say that it smells like the tea, it's not a true tea scent. It's more of a floral scent than a tea scent. It just happens to smell like that tea. But it's really nice. I like it. All right, next is Aqua Universalis. I don't know if that's enough. I don't know if I like that one enough to get a full bottle. I like it, but I don't know if I like it enough. All right. Luminous and irresistibly fresh, this joyful and universal eau de toilette, uh-oh, features musky, floral, and citrusy notes. So for some reason, I ended up getting the eau de toilette of this instead of the eau de parfum. Not sure how I even <laughs> ended up with that, but it's okay. This is just for a test. I don't need the strongest thing possible. Oh, that is very fresh. This is very, very fresh. But you know what? It smells a little too masculine for me. If things can be masculine and feminine, I don't know. Uh, but this is... This does smell more masculine than I'd like. I, I want something a little heavier. I want, I've got plenty of fresh perfumes over there on my perfume counter already. This smells like a fresh cheapie, to be honest with you. I like it, but it's, it's been done before, in my opinion. I, I mean, if I want something real fresh, then I could do Davidoff's Cool Water for Women or something like that. Um, I don't, I don't necessarily need that one. So let me go back to Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait and give it a, oh, guys, this is still really nice. I think this may be the one, which is tough because I was, all, I was definitely expecting to say that it smelled just like cloud and I didn't need it because I already have cloud and all this other stuff. But, oh, I really, really like it. Let's smell this one again. This is the Amaris Femme. Oh, this is really nice too. And it really, it's developed into, it's developed into something that's a little bit more full-bodied than Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. The Joe Malone fragrance is actually cheaper than this one, which if you know Joe Malone's prices, whew, yeah. Uh, but this is, I think, a much better value. It's beautiful. Oh, uh, this is a really nice scent. All right, so I've got two to choose from. Let's put everybody else away. This Feminine Pluriel, if you love very delicate feminine fragrances, you get this one. It's a great scent. I really like it a lot. So, 
just this one and this one. I'm hoping that's somewhere in the center. These two are the ones that are going to be on my to buy list, I think. I'm gonna put those on my little Fragrantica profile and make a decision sometime, sometime soon. I don't know when I'm going to actually buy these perfumes because like I said, I am on a little perfume diet along with all of my other diets. Uh, but I am not going to be spending a whole lot of money on perfume or a whole lot of money on anything anytime soon because I have just so many things that I want to buy. In particular, travel is a big thing that I want to do this year once we all get vaccinated and we're able to stay in hotels again and do all the stuff that we want to do. So I have a lot of things that I just rather buy than perfume right now. And yeah, but that doesn't mean that I want to deprive myself of anything. I just want to be very smart about my money. So yeah, that is why we're going to decide between these two. And I'm leaning a little closer toward the Baccarat Rouge 540 just because it's something, the x -trade. it's something that I've never smelled before. It's not like Cloud. It's very interesting. This does smell like a more mature wood sage and sea salt. It's more full bodied. It's more interesting, but this is beautiful. We'll decide soon and I'll let you know what I decide. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you could like the video and subscribe, that would be awesome. I'd appreciate it. I've got plenty of content coming on minimalism and home decor and perfume and plants. If you like that stuff, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you here. If there are other MFK fragrances that I haven't tried yet, let me know in the comments which one I need to try out so that three months from now, when I can order more samples, I will get the one that you recommended. Um, oh, All A Rose was one that I also got, uh, that I, but I've already tried it before, but I just wanted another sample of it because I'm greedy. It is what it is. All right, that's it, friends. See you next time. Bye.